A Milwaukee man who, as a young person, expressed his thoughts on paper in school, went on to publish more works than he ever imagined. And now he's sharing his creativity with the world. Megan Reistead introduces us to the entrepreneur behind a one-of-a-kind bookstore. Everyone has a story. Derek Spears takes on a ton of titles. Author, I'm a music producer, a film writer, an entrepreneur, father, <laughs> and a husband, and just a child of Milwaukee and a child of God. He says he picked up a pen as early as he can remember. Since I was five, six years old, I was writing. Um, I couldn't stop. Grew up in Milwaukee, born and raised on the north side. Used to attend 35th Street School when I was a kid, and... You know, from there, I got involved in a Chapter 220 program where I got to go from the north side to Mequon. Every day, it was like a trip back and forth to two different worlds. It's like you don't fit in at both sides. So my world began inside of a notebook. You know, it's like I got, I got wedged. So I'm like, man, I don't really feel like I fit in anywhere. You know, so my source of um, speaking to the world was through creativity. Bringing him here today. Derek Books, the first bookstore of its kind. And the reason why I said it is because my, my bookstore is a representation of, of, of going against the odds. Every book in his shop, that's around 70 so far, he wrote himself. So you write books of all different kinds. All different kinds. Tell me about a few of these titles. Gifted Autistic, that's, that's very, very, um, comes from my daughter, you know, my experience with autism because a lot of people don't understand autism. It's just a different way of, of they just learn differently, you know, and, it's, and they're just like me. It's a true story of Fatty Spears, you know, I talk about stories about a kid who got cut from a basketball team, ninth grade, tenth grade, humiliated, you know, by his, by his team friends and in high school, it's about status and he eventually makes the varsity team. But that's a true story because that's about my life. You know, that really happened in my life. One of my best sellers is The Weirdo. Ironically, I've always felt weird in my life, you know, so you would not imagine how many people feel ostracized and different and they gravitate towards The Weirdo because the words speak to them. The pen is a mighty and powerful thing. It's a, it's a mighty sword. And Derek says some of the struggles he wrote about as a teen still ring true today. Human beings, if we take away color, we take away all that, we all have the same type of issues, you know. Too, feel too fat one day, feel too short. Book from 1995. Oh my gosh, 1995. This is, a, this is actually a poem from 95 that I wrote that turned into a book. Will I succeed in this life of sorrow? I wrote this as a young man at 12 oh. years old. Will I succeed in this life of sorrow? Will I live to see another's precious tomorrow? Will I be judged by the color of my skin? Or will I continue to feel sorrow deep down within? Is there another day of tomorrow's and promise? Don't give up the fight unless your work is accomplished. Will a black man succeed in our community? Or can we all stand together and succeed in unity? Right now, the artist should be the most inspired right now. Like, I can't stop writing uh, because we are the timestamp of, of this time period. Be part of the solution, not the problem. Um, hate is the common denominator for racism, for prejudice, for all of that. We can't, we can't fight hate with hate. You know, we can pray and show love. And so many chapters still unwritten. Derek Books, right here, this, this, this bookstore on this corner is going to change the world.